Hey, this is Pastor Kurt. I'm here with Sherry and Christine, members of the church staff. And uh, today we are focusing on the week that matters. This week matters. In so many ways, God is speaking to us in this week. It's the week that, that Christ showed and exemplified for us what it means to, to live a passionate life. In our time of fear and uncertainty, we need something to cling to, someone to bridge the gap between us and God, um, someone to bring order out of the chaos. And so this is the week that we remember the last week of Jesus' life, and this is the week in human history that God proves his power over life and death. Today we're going to focus on Mary and her sacrificial gift of a, a powerful perfume. So John 12, 1 through 9. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus lived. When Jesus had raised from the dead, here a dinner was given to Jesus in Jesus' honor. Martha served while Lazarus was among those reclining at the table with him. Then Mary took about a pint of pure nard, an expensive perfume. She poured it on Jesus' feet and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of perfume. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, <laughs> who was later to betray him, objected. Why wasn't this perfume sold and the money given to the poor? It was worth a year's wages. He did not say this because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. As keeper of the money bag, he used to help himself to what was put into it. Leave her alone, Jesus replied. It was intended that she should save this perfume for the day of my burial. You will always have the poor among you but you will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large crowd of Jews found out that Jesus was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Thanks, Christine. So let me ask you guys, what is the most extravagant gift that you have ever received? Well, um, the one, I'd have to say uh, my, my engagement ring is probably the most extravagant gift I've ever been giving. Uh, mine would be when I was 16, I got a car. I know that sounds really like big and stuff, but um, it was kind of a lemon, but it was still good. It was still good in the beginning of it, you know. And those are the gifts that maybe made the biggest impression on you, right? Yeah. 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 So, so certainly uh, Mary's gift would have made a huge impression. <laughs> It was uh, enough perfume and ointment to cover up the smell of everything that was going on in that room. They were eating a meal. No one would have been able to even smell the food that were eating. they were eating. Um, and so it was a very extravagant gift. Um, let me ask, how can we become more like Mary in, in our giving or, or in that example that she gave us? Well, you know, I think we can look at Mary's act of service as a just a great example of how to live as believers in Christ Jesus. You know, Mary kneeling at the feet of Jesus, and uh, she wasn't boastfully saying, look at me, but I, I see her as being humble. Um, there's no narrative between her and Jesus. It's just her actions are recorded. Um, I, I just think her gifts are so, you know, being that it was a year's wages, that it was very exceptional. Um, but how can we, you know, how can we become more like Mary in our gifts? Um, I think we can be more devoted and loyal with our time and really focus on what people's needs are and try our hardest to just be... <laughs> A friend to them and just try to give what we can because that's all she did she gave what she had so it'd be nice for that's us true. to be able to do that too well that's yeah. true I know sometimes when I've been um, maybe in the grocery store or something like that um, you know I've seen maybe a, just a little thing that uh, I could do for others and uh, you know, it's sometimes it's just the words of encouragement and, and that, but I know at times I've asked the Holy Spirit to, to whisper uh, the needs of others. And, uh, you know, I, I've found that he can be very creative at times, 
Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that, Christine? Go ahead. Um, I think that it is in the whispers. It is in like just the simple little things. Like you'll see somebody like even, I don't know, I'll get like in a thought in my head, like I should call that person mm -hmm. and I call them and they're like hurting. So stuff like that. It's in the things like that. Yeah. It's simple, but good. Certainly listen to and honor the Holy Spirit. I love that example, Sherry, because I've been in the store maybe three times in the last three weeks. And man, people give you distance and don't you dare cough because everyone will turn and look at you. And, and, I, and I find myself thinking, can I, can I trust that person? Like literally that thought is going through my mind. Like I would never have thought that before. I would have just assumed, yes, I can trust everybody in the store. But now I'm thinking, well, I don't trust that that person washes their hands. So yeah. instead of thinking those judgmental thoughts, like you said, Sherry, ask, Lord, give me your spirit. Help me to see the needs of this person. Help me to see, uh, maybe they just need to smile. You know, maybe they need that six foot of distance and me giving them that space. I was at the store just today and um, the clerk, every clerk was very careful to say, hey, I'm walking by you. You know, and it's almost like they've been trained to say, people know that they need their space. But uh, yeah, all those little things that we do every day and maybe don't even think about, that really do make a difference in people's lives. Those are excellent uh, examples. Any more thoughts on uh, Mary and her extravagant gift? No, I think the uh, the clear application is that, especially in this time, that um, that we could take care of our essential workers, um, those who are putting their their life uh, on the not life on the line. They're they're making a big sacrifice every day just by being in contact with other people, nurses, clerks. Uh, first responders, um, and and they and they run that risk of of bringing it home to their family and the concern that that brings. Um, and so we we want to lift them up in our prayers and we want to um, give them gifts. We, we're doing that through the church. We're collecting gifts for our our uh, members of the congregation. Some of them, you know, one one uh, mom is a, a nurse and dad's a police officer. And so we, uh, you know, anything we can do to even just make their lunch easier, their day easier. Um, that's kind of the, the goal behind that. And uh, hey, the the price of a bottle of Purell now <laughs> <laughs> is almost right there with a week's wages. So um, it's gold. <laughs> it's gold. We can, uh, there's a lot that we can do there. So let me just wrap up by saying that the, the gift of fine ointment encourages us, um, encourage people then and us today to be ready to re receive once again the most precious of gifts. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do in this time. Mary encourages us to be that sacrificial giver, but there's also someone that has something they want to give to you this week. And it may be that stranger in the, 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 the grocery store that on that one necessary trip that you have to make. And I know it's God. He wants you to know and feel his presence powerful reminders just like that perfume would have been a powerful reminder to anyone that came near jesus in that last few days of his life that wow you smell different that what's going on there's gonna be a lot of different ways that god's going to remind you this week that he's present he's doing things he loves you he cares about you and he wants you to hear very clearly what his sacrifice has done for you and so I invite you into that process this week because this week does matter. Let us end with uh, inviting you into prayer. And what we'd love for you to do as a family is uh, the, uh, we, if you can, uh, use the gifts that we've given you in the church in a bag, uh, lotion, a perfume sample, um, connect with what we're doing today. But I, Ask God to identify for your family one essential worker that you could care for in this time. And maybe that's just praying for them. Maybe it's sending them a note, putting a, uh, a note in their yard um, some way or taping something to their car to let them know that you, you care and, and uh, provide some way of, of serving them. Thank you, Christine and Sherry. You're welcome. welcome.
And thank you guys at home for watching this devotion and uh, carrying through in, in this important week. God bless you. God bless.